Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, just a quick video on education with uh, the motorhomes and inverters um, and just our experience that we had with inverters over the years. Um, we have a, a 24L Integra Quest, 25-foot um, motorhome Class C, and it came with a 1,000-watt inverter um, and only certain plugs were going through that inverter. Most of your motorhomes um, that have inverters do only have certain plugs that you would plug into the wall when you're not hooked up to shore power and they would actually work if you had the inverter on. So again, um, an inverter is a um, piece of equipment that will take and allow you to plug into your regular uh, wall outlets and then grab that energy instead of from the plug at shore power it grabs the energy from your batteries and it helps convert it so that you can use a regular standard plug in the wall. Um, a lot of times like I said they only do a few outlets in the motorhomes um, or the travel trailers um, to be hooked up to that inverter just because it doesn't want to exceed the wattage uh, that inverter can hold. Most of the motorhomes that come with inverters will be a thousand watt or less. A um, thousand watt is pretty much something that will cover most everybody when it comes to just regular outlets. Um, but if you want to use your microwave, um, a blow dryer, um, maybe a couple things at once, um, then you really need to exceed that thousand watt to be sure. And so anyways, we upgraded ours from 1,000 watt to 2,000 watts. And now we also made sure that through the, uh, the RV guy that I had do it here in um, California, um, that he converted all the outlets, including the microwave, um, that would go through the inverter. So it doesn't matter what plug we plug into, as long as our inverter is on, which it's on all the time, um, it will... Uh, be active. Um, the inverters also can be on most of them um, and it will convert and let the power just go through it if you are uh, hooked up to shore power so you don't have to worry about you know always turning it on, turning it off, turning it on. Um, but anyways I just thought I'd give a quick note on what are inverters. I've, I've had questions about that in the past and not quite sure how they work but uh, I will have a link to the type and I'll show a little bit on this video of the one that we have. If you look at some of our other videos you'll actually see some even more details on it. Um, it's the Xantrax. We did a lot of uh, research and that seems to have worked out so well so far pretty good for oh, well over a year and we haven't had any issues with it. Um, but 2000 watt is what I would recommend and that would really set you up where you're not having to change them out down the road. You can run your blow dryer, um, not all at the same time, but your blow dryer, you know, you got a 1200 watt blow dryer, um, your microwave, uh, which is usually about 1500, 1600 watts. Um, air conditioning is a different situation. There's a uh, contraption that you can use to hook up to your air conditioner on top of your roof. Uh, that won't allow that initial surge that comes through um, that would require more than 2,000 watts um, and that's like a $300 item um, can't remember the name of, of what it's called uh, but we'll have that uh, in a different link um, anyways okay I hope that was helpful uh, enjoy happy camping bye